Hello and welcome to the FL Studio Beginner Tutorials number 2 Making your first song part 1 I am Simon also known as D-God um, and in this tutorial we'll actually start making uh, a really simple song uh, the first song you perhaps will ever make if you're a complete beginner uh, which I assume you are when I make these tutorials I assume you have never made a song before in Fruit Loops perhaps never uh, making perhaps never been making music ever before uh, so in this tutorial we will learn how to use uh, the step sequencer to make patterns drum patterns uh, we're gonna learn how to use the playlist to put these patterns together into a full song uh, and we will also uh, learn to make a simple drum loop uh, that we can use in the song in later tutorials uh, or in the same tutorial but in later parts we will learn how to make a bass line we will add some other cool stuff that will really make it a song perhaps a piano or something uh, so let's head into Fruity Loops and start making our first song um, so um, again when I get into my Fruity Loops I have the playlist up and the browser we're gonna go ahead and ca uh, close the browser so that we just have um, to begin with, I'm gonna just close this fruit limiter. I, don't, I have no idea what that does there. So, um, we're gonna start off with the step sequencer. I'm gonna have these two up all the time now through this tutorial, um, or this part at least. I will have the step sequencer and the playlist up. I, s I suggest you have that as well. And you do the same steps as I do, and I mean, I'm gonna go through this really detailed. Uh, I will tell you exactly how to do to make this work. Uh, we'll go ahead and actually start naming our patterns uh, in advance so we know exactly what we're doing later. So we'll go ahead and right click pattern 1. We're going to press rename and we're going to call this kicks. Okay, simple enough. We're going to do the same with the second one. Right click, press rename and then write in claps. Go through all of these. Right click the third one press rename and write in hats and finally with the fourth one right click rename and this we're gonna call snares now in this tutorial we will use the four standard samples um, that comes uh, that that you get when you start the program now I'm not sure if this is actually samples that every one of you will get um, so if that's not the case um, I don't really know how to uh, help you with that, but uh, there should actually be some kind of... Uh, yeah, you can go here, uh, go to File, if you don't have these as I have here, Kick, Clap, Hat, Snare, you go to File, you go to New from Template, and you take Basic on Minimal, Minimal, Basic, uh, and then you like just load it and then you do the same things I did here with kicks, claps, hats and snares. We can have one pattern for each of these uh, samples that we have. The kick drum, the clap, the hi hat, hat or whatever, and the snare. Okay, so if you watched uh, my first tutorial I went through a little on how the patterns work and what they exactly are, but uh, this is gonna be in much more detail this time. So we go ahead and we press kicks uh, now we see the kicks pattern here in the step sequencer. And what this is, this uh, the pattern is um, pretty much the things we put in here. So if I put in um, four kick drums like that, then this pattern will contain those four kick drums. This pattern, uh, this sequence of kick drums is going to be transferred right in here into the kicks pattern. If I press claps now it will be empty or hats or snares or whatever whatever pattern. So these kicks drums only con is contained in this kicks pattern. Uh, fair enough. I also want to uh, see here that these dots here are slightly different colored. You have four green and then you have four brownish reddish and then you have four green again and four brownish reddish. Now these four, these first four uh, in the pattern. That's one beat. One beat. The second four 
is one bit. The third, fourth, whatever that's called, these four is one bit, these four is one bit. That means that if you have 120 BPM, it will do two, eight of these per second. If you have 60 beats per minute, it will do one a second, one of those per second. So keep that in mind. Uh, so you don't think that the beats are actually one of these dots, like if I put on here, it's going to be 140 BPM, like I have here, 140 BPM. If I play this now, you hear that that's a lot more than 140 beats per minute. It's like 10 beats a second or something. So um, really, this is 140 BPM. I'm going to show you how it sounds. Okay. That's more of a normal... Uh, bass drum uh, progression yeah so uh, now when we have our kick drums filled in you can fill them in as I have you can fill them in pretty much however you want you can like add one here perhaps we're gonna have like yeah you know exactly what I mean so just put in your own pattern but only in the kick drum these three leave them blank okay so when you have done this we're gonna go ahead and press the claps pattern Oh, so the kick drums disappear because they are not in this pattern. They are in this pattern here. Um, we're now gonna start filling in our claps. How do we want our claps uh, to progress? So, a standard way to doing this is actually to place the claps here and here, in the beginning of the second and fourth beat. Uh, so it's gonna sound like this. Okay. So when you have filled in the claps like you want them to be, we're going to go ahead to the hats pattern. And here we will do the same thing, we will only fill in the hats. Now a standard way of doing this is to put them in the middle of each beat, so like this. So that the first one, then one blank, and then the hat, then a one blank. Then the first one in the next beat, one blank, then a hat, then one blank, and then the first one in the third beat blank. So you get you get the pattern of it pretty much and when you've done putting in the hats exactly like you want them to be do the exact same thing with the snares uh, I'm gonna put my snares uh, just like I put the claps like that so now we have four patterns we have the kicks I'm gonna play this actually you're gonna choose pattern up here and play this okay we have the claps on one pattern Okay, fair enough. We got the hats in one pattern. And we got the snares in one pattern. Okay, so now it's time to use the playlist to put these drums together into a whole. Um, how we use this is like if you want, uh, we're gonna start with using the magnet here in the top left, this one right next to the the arrow and the drop down menu there's a, like a horseshoe or a magnet you press the magnet and you press line this will make the blocks uh, adjust to the lines they will snap to these lines that you see here so they will be synchronized uh, it will be hard to use for example main because then it just slides like uh, fluidly or fluently along the whole thing so it won't be synchronized so we press line and we start making our pattern. So, for example, I want the kick drums to start out with some. So I'm gonna put some kick drums. You can use either the pencil that will put one block out at a time, or you can use uh, the the brush, which will make you able to in one click put out a lot of them. But it is true. I'm gonna use the pencil actually. So just putting out some kick drums here. Uh, when do I want the claps to start? I want the ca claps to start after two blocks. So it's gonna be like this. Okay, the hats is gonna add add up after the claps, and the last thing that I will add is the snares. Now you can put out these blocks exactly how you want them to, or how you want them to be actually. So um, if I now go to song here, change this one from pattern. The pattern only plays what's in the selected pattern, which is currently claps for me. I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So it's only claps. But if I change to song now. You see that this arrow appears here, and it's a light stroke here. This will make, when you press the play button, play this um, 
this pattern of patterns, or whatever it's called, uh, how we have made our song with the patterns of the drums. So yeah, we're gonna start and press play. Simple enough, huh? So that's actually how you make uh, how how patterns are used. It's a really strong tool, pretty much. So you can, for example, if I want the hats to start immediately, I want the hats to start first. I can put in hats here. Take away the kick drums. I want the kick drums to add up after the claps. So I make the kick drums empty until right here. So first the hats, then the claps add in, then the kicks, and then I want the claps to disappear when the snares come in. So it's really easy to use to decide when things start and when things stop. So go ahead and press play again and see the difference. Hats first. I'm going to add in the class. And then the kits. And then the class disappear and the snares begin. Okay, so that's pretty much what this tutorial was all about. Um, uh, there's really nothing you're on a good way to make your first song. Uh, of course you can make this song as long as you want to. This uh, slider up here will go to infinity. When you reach the end here it will add on more and more and more and it will never end pretty much. You can make a song that's 10 minutes long with uh, just these four patterns. Um, now actually we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to make uh, another kicks pattern that we can use to alternate how the kicks sound. Um, We'll go ahead and press uh, the kicks. We're gonna right-click the kicks pattern, uh, and we're gonna take um, clone selected. We get a kicks pattern that's uh, named kicks number two by default. The Fruity Loops uh, gives this the new name. You can never have the same name for two patterns. So uh, when I now click the pa kicks uh, first, you can see the pattern up here. It's the same as I put in before. Uh, the kicks too is the exact same pattern. Now if I, for example, want to have another one there, I have another kicks pattern that will sound slightly different. So if I put that one down here now, I'm going to see how that sounds. I'm going to actually start. You can start the song wherever you want to. Just press up here, uh, align where you want to start. I'm going to start it right here with the claps and hats. And now notice how uh, it will use the other kicks number two pattern right here. So it first played this one once, then it will go to this pattern once, and then this pattern twice, right here. So, yeah, let's see. Oops. Bit of a misclick there, go to song, go to where you want to play it. And so that's pretty much... Uh, uh, the things I will show you in this uh, this part of this tutorial. Um, go ahead, feel free to add as many of these as you like. Just right click, clone selected, make as many patterns as you like, experiment, pl put them around, uh, make uh, different sounds from the same kind of samples that we have with the kick, clap, hat and snare. In the next tutorial I will show you how to add a bass line and also a piano. Actually I think we're just gonna go for the bass line in part 2 and then take the piano in part 3. Uh, let's see how long it takes. Uh, so I'll see you in a later tutorial. Have a nice day.